So one of the ways is incorrect grip. For example, if I'm not gripping all of these devices together, the cricothyroidotomy, the dilator and the wire, you can get separation. And so what that means is that the dilator might actually get pushed out. Another way that this can fail is if you do the incorrect skin incision. For example, if your skin incision is too small and the skin is really tough, it'd be very hard to pass the Melka through. So a small skin incision is obviously not a great idea. Now, another thing is maybe you're not comfortable with the scalpel up against a wire, and so you cause this skin bridge. So say there's a piece of skin between where the scalpel incision is and the wire. This Melka device, is go it's gonna be hard to push down because there's no join between that incision. Another way this can go badly is if I make an incision onto the wire itself, you might get shearing of the wire. This is obviously really dangerous because then you get shards of wire now, another step that we often see happening is the incorrect force applied. So for example, if your force is applied just in a downward direction, then it might not have the same force to get through that hole.